your relationship with your new OC, uh, Todd Downing, how, how is that developing and, and what are some of the things you like about what he brings to the table as far as maybe continuity or anything like that? I mean, well, I've been with Todd, Todd first year was 2019 and um, kind of the same thing. He just took over um, just like Art did. He's been office, offensive uh, coordinator before. So, you know, um, you know, we, you know, we are uh, ready to see what uh, we can all do together. And, um, you know, just trying to put it all together. Um, we got the week. Uh, I haven't been here the whole time. And we guys been working hard and building, building the chemistry, and, you know, pushing each other. And um, um, just competing and you know getting better on both sides of the ball, and that's all you know we want us to do. Just compete every day, um, come in and pay attention, um, pay attention to the little things, the details, the fundamentals. Um, give um, all your effort and finish. You know you're in practice, so that's all that's all we've been focusing on. You know trying to do the best that we can. Kayla. Hey, Derek, um, obviously we see all of your off-season workout videos, enjoy those. What is kind of the goal for you in the off-season when you're doing these individual workouts? Um, do you take any time off? Um, this is just, just, just doing the um, same thing I've been doing each and every off-season, uh, working out, um, staying in shape, uh, getting ready for the season, ready for uh, the training camp so my body feels good. You know, we come back and um, – and get to work. Uh, been doing two days and all those different type of things, and uh, working out with Melvin. Um, you know, he can get get me right. Uh, it's different ideas, all the workouts he come up, he comes up with. Just making sure my body's in shape, and you know, running hills and doing stuff on the field, and just working on everything possible that I can get better at. So I'm ready when I come. Do back do you? Home. Sorry, D. Uh, do you add anything? you know, year to year, new things um, to incorporate in your workouts, or you just kind of keep the same same routine year to year? Um, it's really uh, on Melvin, you know, what he sees throughout the season, what he thinks I need to work on or, you know, get better at as far as, as, far as my body and things that he feels like he helped me with. And, you know, I can listen to him and then try to work on those things and, you know, incorporate it to, you know, football and on the field and, you know, all those type of things just so – I can get better and be better whenever I come back. Teresa. And Derek, just to follow up on that, when when you're working, is it uh, do you find do you work on conditioning? Uh, is it a specific body part? Is it you know what is it that you've been in the league for a while now? Uh, what is it that you're trying to maintain at this point? Um, I just work on everything. Um, I try to work on everything each and every year. You know, I feel like. We always get better at everything, and that's what I try to work on um, each and every day when I'm away during the offseason. That's all I try to focus on, trying to get better at everything. Buck? Yeah, Derek, I know Julio made it down to Dallas for, for one of those training sessions. How uh, how hard was the recruiting pitch to him then? Uh, not really recruiting. You no, know, just trying to get some work in. He was in town, and he wanted to get some work in, and uh, he pulled up on us, and we ran and did a workout and, you know, just, just talked. You know, catching up and just talking about what was going on, and, and now he's here. So, you know, uh, glad to have him as a teammate, and I'm excited to get to work with him. Glennon. Hey, Derek. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, Julio, um, it, it was certainly was no secret uh, on social media that you were a big fan of him uh, eventually getting here. Uh, what made you sort of take to the social media to kind of campaign for the, the trade that brought him here, and, and did you ever hear any – feedback about that from from Julio or, or you know from the uh, uh John Robinson or, or the coaches anything like that no I just I'm just saying tighten up and you know um, that would be cool if you know we were to get him here and um you know be able, be able to play with him everybody knows the type of player he is what he brings to the table so I'm just trying to do my best to pitch him to, to get here and obviously it kind of worked uh, that's what I was going to ask. Do you, do you feel like, uh, I mean, I know it was a trade that brought him here, but do you feel like you, you did play a, a small part maybe in, uh, you know, helping it, uh, helping it happen? I feel like AJ, AJ did a, uh, had a bigger role, but uh, I finished in a little bit. I tried to at least. Thank you. A couple more for Derek. Terry. Hey, 
Terry, why don't you type your question? Terry, why don't you type your question? And we can ask it for you. And Teron, if you want to ask in the meantime. Terry, coming in from Mars. Um, my, my question Always. is, uh, Terry, <laughs> my question is that in regards to what Julio brings to the table and just how it opens things up for, for you as, as, a, as a back, can you just kind of get into what that does, you know, adding him to the picture? Well, I mean, he's a dynamic player. Um, uh, one of not the best receiver in this in this league so you know he's definitely re respected uh, by defenses and um you know I mean I don't really get into all the you know boxes and you know this different type of scenarios I think we just try to pull it all together while we're here and just try to work and you know try to make each other better and um you know each and every day you know he likes to work hard I like to work hard and that's all you know we're trying to bring to the table you know, as far as being teammates and, you know, the whole team is, is making each other better. I really get into, you know, what, what this would be like and that would be like this. Trying to put it all together, come here, work every day, get better, be a great teammate, and see what we can do. Gentry. Yeah, Derek, I know yours and Julio's past at Alabama didn't cross quite at the same time, but did you get to know him much at all through that? And, and because of kind of a shared background, do you have a little bit better idea what what to expect, what you guys are getting out of Julio, given, you know, given the fact you guys both play at the same place? Um, yeah, when I was at Bama, he used to come back uh, all the time and, um, you know, got to know him, um, you know, through that time. And, you know, actually when I um, was coming out uh, for the draft and, you know, I got to train with him when he came uh, back to Bama as well. And then just, you know, seeing him and hanging out with him, um, you know, my time throughout the league and, you know, you know, his body of work and how he plays and what, what type of player he is. And, you know, we both come back, coming from Bama, we both know each other's mindset and, you know, what we want to do. And, you know, it's just a great guy to have around, you know, who's a, who's a humble guy, um, loves to work hard, is a great teammate and be a great asset, you know, for this team and, you know, for, for everybody to learn from um, one of the greats that played this game. All right, I got Terry's here. What are the new challenges for you in the offense after such an outstanding year last year? Say it again. What's the challenges for you and the offense after such an outstanding year last year? Um, I don't think we um looking at what's what's the new challenge. I think it's just us, you know, just trying to be better. Um, um at everything that we do um, as far as on offense, um, individually, collectively, and just just growing, you know, and, and um, helping each other grow. And, um, you know, just competing, um, holding each other accountable, and, you know, just doing the things we need to do as a team. Um, while we're away and then we get back here, we just try to pull it all together. That's just working hard, hard work. It's always hard work, it's a grind. And I think we all know that. And I think, you know, it takes, you know, takes time and just, you know, try to push each other um, day by day to be the best we can be when the season comes. Last two questions, Jim Wyatt. I guess, Derek, I two quick ones. One, did you did you let Julio know that you wore number two, I guess, during your rookie year uh, at the start? Oh, uh, no, I didn't. I, I didn't know what number he was going to choose. I didn't know what was happening with that. But, um, you know, it fits him and, you know, I'm glad he found his number. And as far as Kari, uh, how has your relationship with him kind of on and off the field evolved, and how much credit do you give him so, for some of the success you have? Um, yeah, uh, you know, um, you know, we talk uh, from time to time during the off season, you know, just check in with one another, see how uh, each other's doing, um, and uh, you know, Kari does all the dirty work, and you know, you know, he's a big part of my success. Definitely appreciate him throughout the years with the success I had, and. Um, I'm glad we still have him and, you know, have another season with him. And I think he's doing a great job for us. Last question, Paul. Hey, Derek. Uh, Julio's got a great reputation for downfield blocking. I I'm wondering if you feel like with he and Josh, you guys will be as good uh, with that downfield or maybe better than ever. Um, I can't say, and you know, until that time comes. But, 
you know, um, you know, uh, just watching those guys how they play. You know, I know they, you know, take pride in blocking. Uh, you know, I'm glad to have them on um, our squad. You know, some guys that want to block and get there, get in there, and um, you know, give me space. Definitely appreciate that. So, you know, whenever we get back to camp and be able to practice and build that chemistry, uh, can't wait when we find uh, be out there grinding and putting the work in.